In this video, I'll be adding the third node to the Proxmox cluster. And this will definitely give us the high availability. If one of the node will fail, VMs will be automatically migrating to other nodes without any downtime. This configuration is extremely important if you want to have the high availability. So let me show you how we can configure that. Just pause for a moment and try to understand this particular diagram, which shows you how the Proxmox cluster with three nodes is created. So here I have PVE, PVE2, PVE3. I'll be using the same nodes in this course and two networks which I'll be using during this course. One will be on the class C IP range of 192.168.240.0 and another will be 192.168.100.0. 100.0 I'll be using for the internal communication between the Proxmox nodes and I'll be using it to connect with the network attached storage. And at the same time, this particular network will also be used for the Ceph storage. So that's the reason you can pause, you can take the screenshot and understand how the Proxmox cluster is created. So here I'll be logging in to the Proxmox node, which is this one PVE 192.168.240.2 and another one is 192.168.240.3. Third node that I created is 192.168.240.4. So if you see here this PVE3, this is the third node. I have on this particular data center, two nodes are already there. So data center summary, you can see here there are two nodes right now. Both are online and the combined storage and combined CPUs are available here. Now I want to add this third node PVE3, you can see PVE. PVE2 and PVE3. I want to add this PVE3 also to the cluster or I want PVE3 to join the existing cluster. So I'll be closing the other window. So I'm having uh, one which is able to access both the nodes PVE2 and PVE. And for PVE3, I'll keep it open for the time being. And here, if I go to data center, the cluster option here, so I'll click on join information. The moment I click on join information, I'll be getting the fingerprint and join information. I'll go to the Proxmox virtual environment, the new node that I, that I created. So I'll be going to data center cluster and here join cluster. In join cluster, I'll be giving the information. So I'll be pasting the encode cluster information. So I'll go back here. So join encode cluster information is here. Copy this and paste it over here. And it shows me the IP address, fingerprint, and here I need to enter the root password of the peer. So I'll be entering the root password and join SyncPrix. So SyncPrix is my cluster. So it is showing me that establishing API connection with the host, logging in successful. It will shortly start appearing in both the nodes. So all the three nodes will be available in both the nodes now. So here you can see that third node has already appeared here and we can also access this using the main network which is 100.4 so if i go back here proceed root and in data center syncbrix cluster is having all these three nodes i can even close all other windows now so i can access it now from any of the ip addresses so three nodes are right now configured and if i show you the summary here on proxmox cluster you can see the health of this so right now cluster syncbrix is working three nodes are connected none of the node is offline and resources you can see total 10 cpus are there 30 gb is total combined ram of all the nodes here you can see pve pve2 and pve3 these are three nodes all three are online and here you can see the cpa usage so you can understand where is less load and where is more load for example pve is taking most of load and pve3 is not having much load uptime here it's so if I go to cluster here, in cluster also, you can see nodes are linked right now. And here you can go to the high availability now. And you can choose which of the VM you want to add into high availability. For example, this is the PFSense, which I want to make sure that this is available. So I'll choose the default options here and add it. I cannot compromise on using the internet access. That's why I have added VM 100, which is PFSense to the high availability, which means that if any of the node will fail, so automatically the VM will be started on other nodes. If this will fail, if PVE1 will fail, so my PFSense machine will automatically be starting on PVE2 or PVE3 depending upon 
where the load is. So our high availability is now active and running. Let us continue to the next lecture.